For thousands of years, the guinea worm parasite has caused disabling misery. Its victims infected by drinking water contaminated with guinea worm larvae. After a year, the adult worm up to three feet long emerges from the body through agonizing skin blisters that incapacitate and cripple. There is no cure for this, and the only treatment is wrapping the worm around a stick and pulling it out inch by inch every day for weeks. But now, the end of guinea worm disease is within reach. The result of a 22-year eradication campaign led by former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and the Carter Center based in Atlanta. In 1986, there were an estimated three and a half million cases of guinea worm in 20 countries in Africa and Asia. That number has now been reduced by more than 99 percent, with fewer than 10,000 cases reported last year in only a few African countries, concentrated in Ghana and Sudan. The only way to stop guinea worm disease is to break its life cycle for at least one year. Across wide areas in Africa, that's the goal of field workers from the Carter Center, working with a coalition of governments and international agencies. And obviously, when you don't have guinea worm, uh, then the children can go to school, the farmers can plant their crops, and the entire economic status of a village and a community and a nation can be helped. Their strategy includes public education to prevent contamination, supplying millions of water filters, applying safe chemical treatment to water sources, and providing safe water from underground wells. We hope and expect that within a year or two there will be no more guinea worm anywhere in the nation of Ghana. If they succeed, within the next few years, guinea worm could become the second disease in human history, after smallpox, to be eradicated from the earth.